Now, see, I saw these two monsters here, and I just thought, well, they look cool. But my first thought was, how do you summon this Horcrux monster? I'm gonna tell you how. What's good, YouTube? We touched from we touched right here. We're back for another car reaction, car review episode, I guess. We're back for another car reaction review, and we have two dope monsters. They look dope. They look dope. I love this car. I like the way this one look. I knew this one was coming. I just didn't know what it could do. But now we're going to talk about it. And I don't know why I did that. And I guess the first car we're going to talk about is the Orcus monster. It is Dingerous. Dingerous, the true Orcus. Rank 8 machine XYZ effect monster. 2600 attack, 2100 defense. As it takes two level A monsters. But you only can special summon one during the true or the once per turn. You can also XYZ summon this monster. By using one Orcus Link Monster, you control his material. That's wild. So we are now using Link Monsters for XYZ summoning. That's crazy. Now, I, I've seen it coming. I just didn't know when, but this is wild. So we can now use Link Monster to XYZ zone. First one. All right. If this card is special summon, you could activate one of these effects. Send one card your opponent controls to the graveyard. Attach one of your banished machine monsters to this card's material. So it can actually get your banished cards to this material. You could detach them back in the graveyard. That's actually a little bit more recycling. Um, its second effect is if this card would be destroyed by, destroyed by battle card effect, you could attach one material from this card instead. So literally this card, all it, it really, it doesn't do much. It doesn't do much, but it lets you send a card to your opponent controls to the graveyard. Let's just send one card, and it doesn't target. So that's actually kind of late. You can use this effect, you can also can recycle. But it's only on ignition that it does this whole, Only on, it's only on ignition that it does this whole, um, only when it's summoned that it does the send card. So it let, I mean, it's, it's a free monster, really good summon easily. You really can make the link two of Orcus and then literally just slap this on top of it and then send something to the graveyard. So this is actually kind of good and it lets you recycle some of your things. So it'll let you get some graveyard back to great. It's like, it gives you some back to banish, back to field, uh, back to graveyard uh, recycling. So that's not bad, that's not bad. Um, I guess as the XYZ goes, it's not the best, but I mean, it's not terrible either. It does what it does something, at least. Um, but now we're gonna talk about the next monster, which is a Link monster, which his name is Mech Knight Crusade Arship. So they're just showing that Mech Knights and Crusades work together perfectly, which I have a deck. I well, I used to. I still have the both of the decks, but like I have a deck to where you can play Crusadias and Mech Knights together, and it worked fine. So. Let's read this card's effect. Uh, it's a light cyber slink monster. It's a link four with 3,000 attack. Left, right, bottom left, bottom right. So it has uh, barrel loads arrows. Uh, it takes two plus monsters, especially from the extra deck. If this card is link summon, it, uh, if this card is link summon, it cannot be targeted by opponent's card effect. Also, your opponent cannot select that monster for attacks except this one. So it makes you to where if you're playing Crusades, you don't even have to play the trap. Um, the trap, you, the trap, the Crusadia trap, what is called Crusadia Vanguard, makes it to where you only can attack Link monsters, but this makes it to where you only can attack this. So that's actually already lit. It, it makes the trap kind of useless at that point. Once per turn, there, once per damage calculation, when this card battles a special summon monster, you can have this card gain attack equal to that original that opponent's monsters attacking their death step calculation. Oh, so it has a built-in honest effect for itself. That's actually kind of lit. I know it's only for special summon monsters, but most decks play special summon monsters, so you're good anyway. If this if this link summon card is sent to the graveyard by opponent's card effect, you can shuffle one card on the field back to the deck. I like that effect because it doesn't target. So the three effects that this card has is lit. For a link four, it's alright. It's not busted, it's not trash, it's it's good, it's decent. And I like both of these cards' effects. Um I like the link a little bit more to XYZ. The XYZ didn't do it doesn't do as much as I would want it to, but it's not too too bad. You literally could still, like I said, you could get your banish cards like i said back put it on the material um if it gives destroy you detached and it just gives you more flow with your banishing graveyard fields and then the link this link monster for crusadius crusadia mech knights literally just it's literally just like another boss monster for them if anything it's something it's something if you don't want to stay on the link three or if so your opponent makes the link three useless but you somehow protected it you literally could just spam out another link monster and literally make this to be another beat stick um my my thing on these both of these cards they're both cool i like them they're good uh, but that's my point of view let me know if you disagree or agree with me in the comments like subscribe that's the end of the video itachi wants to release you from this genjutsu peace